What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overload here. Talking about Scream 6 in this video here again today. Talking about two images that have the fandom going crazy today. One in particular is this one on your screen which was shared on Melissa Barrera's husband's Instagram page. I believe he's now deleted it. But as you see here on your screen, wouldn't this be all but official confirmation from them that this is our official title for Scream 6. Now what's not clear is are these Roman numerals? Are these two exclamation points or are they two bloody fingerprints and honestly i'm down for either one either or i don't really care i know some people would of course love for this to be scream six i've seen people even go out of the way to say it's it's quite bold of them to number the movie when that's the trend now when movies aren't numbering themselves so they think it's a very bold move to do that i i genuinely do think it's it's two exclamation points i've also seen people say that it looks like there's a six slashed into the uh exclamation points or roman numerals or two bloody fingerprints <laughs> Now, the reason I believe this is the official title is just going back to reminding everyone about the Parkside Alpha stuff. Anyone in the comment section can correct me, but to my knowledge, there was no one on the set that was sitting in a chair that said Parkside Alpha. We know Parkside Alpha was the working title for Scream 5. There was someone who we saw sitting in a chair on set with the title of Scream. Once production wrapped, we got a post from Kevin Williamson and a lot of other outlets, of course, picked up after it, where it was revealed that the actual title of Scream 5 was indeed Scream in reference to a lot of the requel stuff going on now with a lot of genres, not just horror, but a lot of IPs. So more specifically, I really do think they were poking fun at Halloween 2018. But now with this, someone sitting in a chair that says Scream with either two roman numerals two exclamation points or two bloody bloody fingerprints i think this is the sign that this is the official title for scream six we'll get confirmation of it in the coming weeks of course when they're done filming and when we get the official stuff to start coming out to hype everybody up for the movie and it's released next march but the fact that, again, this isn't a chair that says Blackmore, because we know the working title for this one is Blackmore, is also, I think, very telling because it's still, again, something that's very reminiscent of what happened with the Parkside Alpha project. There was nothing on set of anyone sitting in a chair with Parkside Alpha. The chair just said Scream, and the title for Scream 5 ended up being Scream. So I believe we now have just discovered the official title that will be announced in the coming weeks for Scream 6. We'll see how true this ends up being, and if those are actually, again, two Roman numerals, two bloody fingerprints <laughs> or two um two exclamation points and then again see if that's actually a six slashed into it in some fashion because i see people zooming in saying that that's a six slashed into it so that's one topic i also want to address the crowd that i know i already see i'm not necessarily saying i'm that crazy about it either these title changes and these variations besides just sticking to Scream 5, Scream 6, Scream 7, they could even actually just stop doing that and just do subtitles as well. I th the, the honest reason for that is, again, to draw in your audience. If they want to call this their Scream 2, the chances of people coming out and seeing that I feel are much higher than if they called it Scream 6. Or if they just call it Scream and they indeed just have two exclamation points, that's also very effective as well. Uh, but here's the image, the other image that has everybody going crazy. This image, I don't know who originally revealed this on Twitter, but as you see here, this is Mason Gooding on a stretcher with what many people are assuming is after he has shot Chad's death sequence. So people think that he is dying because of this image. I do want to remind people of a few things. One, he's not in a body bag. So I don't think he is necessarily dying in this moment. He could be. It doesn't have to be in a body bag necessarily to be dead on a stretcher, I guess. But uh, the fact there's no body bag is telling. The other thing, again, of course, he's he's sitting right side up. That doesn't mean that he wasn't in some other other form when they were actually filming. If they're not filming right now in that image exactly. And the other thing is they can shoot two different things. They can shoot a scene of Chad dying at whatever event this is that he may be dying at. And they can shoot a scene of Chad surviving. They could also then take said two scenes 
show one version to a test audience and allow said test audiences or audience to decide the fate of certain characters. That's something that I think many people should remember. You won't know if these characters are actually dead or not until you sit down and watch the movie because that is a, a, a possibility that I know a lot of people aren't really considering or at least speaking on it. They can easily shoot multiple scenes where Chad lives and one where Chad dies. They can shoot multiple scenes, one where Mindy lives, one where Mindy dies. Shoot multiple scenes, one where Kirby lives, one where Kirby dies. They could do that. They could play around with that. And this, I guess, would also eliminate the need for reshoots because if you already have backups planned when it relates to who's living or dying, you won't have to reshoot a survival scene and decide to let them live. Or there's another thing that could be going on if he is in fact dying, this could be something that gives Mindy a lot more to work with going into Scream 6 and her arc going forward if Chad actually bites it at whatever this is. I'm assuming this is him dying at this presumed party we all think is going on. Um, honestly, it's becoming pretty clear that they're not shooting this movie in order. For one, Hayden, as far as I know and as far as the internet, I don't think she's still even on set. So I don't think that Hayden Pantier's character of Kirby Reed is actually showing up at the very end of this movie. I think that we'll see her sometime before the before the final chapter or not the final chapter <laughs> before the uh, third act. And of course, during the third act. But the fact that she's not even on set and she has scenes to shoot tells me, of course, that they're shooting this out of order, considering how there's still people who aren't on set like her who need to have scenes shot. Uh... So as far as like, again, Chad dying, if he dies, that at least gives Mindy material to work with as far as like something to have her traumatized throughout the movie, give her an emotional wrench for your audience to grow attached to her a little bit better. Hopefully we get to learn a lot more about both Chad and Mindy, even if one bites the dust, uh, but also it is possible that both of them die in this movie. I just want to actually just tell everybody to remember that it is possible that they shoot a survival and a death scene and allow test audiences to decide these characters fate. It is possible that you find something out like that after the movie's released. But we'll see what ends up happening. We'll see if that's the official title. We'll see if Chad dies or not. Let me know what you guys think about all this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe. Turn on post notifications. You can never miss a video. In the description, I'll have links to my social media accounts on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course, to let me know if there's any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.